Coming off the back of Zandvoort, which saw a huge overhaul in F123, Monza in Italy is another track which feels much better to drive in this year's game. Corners such as the first chicane have been updated to feel slightly wider, allowing for an easier approach. However, Monza still remains one of the harder tracks to actually create a car setup for. It's a track that really rewards a low downforce car, however this approach will hurt through some of the faster corners. So finding a good Monza car setup is especially important as your setup direction can lead you to lose or gain a lot of time at different points of the track. Monza requires one of the lowest downforce car setups of any track in F123. Go with just 5 on the front wing arrow and 7 on the rear. This approach is really required to be competitive down those long straights, but it will result in some understeering places, especially through the final corner. Thankfully, one of the areas of F123 that has improved drastically is traction, and this is felt a lot more around Monza than some other tracks. Exiting corners such as the slow turn 2 are so much easier this year, although it's still advised to adjust your on throttle diff to help make accelerating as painless as possible. I'd still advise to go for an on throttle diff setup of almost 50%, and I've gone with 52% here. This will give you kind of the best chance of not spinning your rear wheels making for the best exit out of the slow corners just before those long straights, which is vitally important to make sure you have good straight line speed. Then set the off throttle diff to 50%. For the geometry, I've opted for the most classic F122 approach with right, right, left, left on the camber and toe. This is the only setup we can really run at Monza as it prioritizes straight line speed as much as possible. For the suspension, Go with a stiff front suspension of 32 and a softer rear at 12. Then I've opted for a stiffer than normal front anti-roll bar of 13, combined with a super soft rear anti-roll bar of just one. This may look pretty extreme, but really works to help reduce understeer mid-corner. For the ride height, lower things down to 33 at the front and 36 at the rear. And then I've gone with a brake pressure setup of 100%, and I've increased the brake bias from our normal approach to 56%. Braking efficiency is a key area around Monza, and a more frontward brake bias will help reduce braking zones. You could even increase it to 57% if you want a slightly more extreme brake setup. Now the tyre pressure setup is really tricky about Monza. Tyre wear is incredibly high, but reducing tyre pressures won't help too much, as a lot of the wear isn't necessarily due to excess heat. The long straights go a long way to decrease tyre temperatures between corners. This means to keep tyres warm at the end of the straights, a slightly higher tyre pressure setup is required. Opt for 24.2 and 24.1 psi on the front tyres, then go with 21.5 and 21.4 psi on the rear tyres, and that will complete our Monza setup for F122. This is certainly one of the tougher tracks, despite featuring a low number of corners. So much lap time is based on braking performance, along with the perfect precision that's needed through the chicanes. Hitting a curb just slightly can really send you offline or even off track, making it a really frustrating track to master across a full race distance. Let me know how you feel about this track and whether you like this car setup, anything you change in the comments below. And also consider subscribing if you're liking these F123 setup videos. But for now, try to enjoy this setup and I'll see you on track.